Hi peeps, it's that time of the month again, it's Pinto Box. Uh, it's going to be a pretty big box again, I've literally just received from the door so I haven't opened it and once again it's in a lovely kimono wrap which has got beautiful cherry blossoms all over so I'm very very excited to open this. So let's open it and see what we got this month. <laughs> I can't wait. Ooh. Right, I'm going to randomly dip and have a bit of a lucky dip with this. So, first thing we have, oh, uh, it's perfect timing for the hot weather. Uh, it's a fan and it has Sword Art Online on it and there are the main characters. I do not know their names as I don't follow the anime but that's a pretty cute item. So that will be um, joining my collection of many, many fans. Uh, sure I can find someone who might like it. So, like. Uh, it's just a very basic plastic fan, probably something you just buy at a Comic Con, but um, pretty good. Works pretty well. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It is really, really humid at the minute, so you don't know how nice that feels. <laughs> so yeah, that's a pretty good item. So that's item number one. Right, item number two. Oh, it's a snack item. Uh, it looks like some sort of mini Japanese Oreo cookie. It's called Mini Harvest and looks like it's uh, strawberry flavoured and just looks like a layered sort of custard creamy cookie sort of thing. So I'm going to try one, see what they're like. Oh wow, they smell delicious. Oh yeah, they smell good. They smell very, very good. Oh, I've seen them. Mini tiny Oreo cookies. Mmm. Oh god, yeah, they're not gonna last long, mummy. <laughs> mm, they're very, very good. They've got a weird saltiness to them, but they're quite sweet. But, mm, very nice. Um, they're made by a company called Tohato, um, so I might have to find out and see if I can order some more of these or get them at another con. Excuse me, my mouthful, they are very yummy. Um, so that's the snack item for this month. Right, next item. It's a cash upon. Um, let's have a look. I see a familiar ear. <gasps> it's a Pikachu! <laughs> oh, that's really, really cute. There's a few marks on him from paint. Oh, oh it's a little magnet. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a little Pokemon magnet of Pikachu. So let's just see what other ones are available. Oh, okay, I saw this on the Bento site. Uh, yes, there's different variations from the uh, latest series. Uh, I don't know the names of half of them, I'm still bloody learning them. Uh, I've got Fenki, uh, I think it's called Churi or something like that. That's a slime one, that's an electric mouse, Froki, and Pikachu, who I got. I just thought it was only Seeker variations, but yeah, that was really, really cute. So um, that's going to go on the fridge at some point. Pika Pika. Uh, so that's the Gashapon. Uh, next item. Oh, I really hope this is the one I've already got. Man, this is an old figure. And these were out a few years ago. I picked this up at my... Oh, these were out in 2006. Uh, it's a Gundam training arts figure. Uh, I'm not into Gundam myself, but for some random reason I collected them anyway because they're really, really nice figures. And um, I'm actually trying to sell this one at the moment, so I'm hoping it's not the one that I've got. Otherwise, I'm going to have two of them. I've been trying to sell it for ages. Uh, on the back, you see the variants. Uh, she got two characters the same, but just one slight variation, and another captain, and the uh, main character in the other one. So these are the two that I would like. That's the one that I'm hoping not to get the bomb head chick. So let's see what we got. These boxes are always so hard that we want to wreck them because they just love the artwork on them. Oh, please be what I need! Oh cool, uh, yeah, I got the um, the red-haired variant figurine, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to open it up a quick bit together. Ugh, so many bags for everything. So, uh, that's the figurine over all, so it's the legs and the armour and the head just there and um, so I'll put that together later. So um, these are really actually very nice figures. 
um, occasionally you do get the odd one that just does not stay together on their stand um, but they're still really really good oh, come on open let's have a look at you see this is when you think you get your skills together of how to put training our figures together so all those years of putting kinder egg toys together then <laughs> she comes to <laughs> putting together anime figurines uh, okay uh, she got the head there and you've also got a, a variation of whether or not you can have a with helmet and there's the the front there as well so I'm just gonna put her on without her helmet a second so, yeah this is a really really nice figurine um, I've got the stand somewhere else is um, so it just looks like that she's floating in midair so, as you can see it's a really nice figure I do apologize for the quality of my camera I am just using a basic laptop camera <laughs> so yeah I'm really really happy with that that's a very good figurine so that's gonna go in my collection in the cabin of beautiful things so let's get on to I think it might be the last item so one two three four yes it will be. oh wow that is awesome okay um i don't know if you've watched my previous video like the one piece figurine the huge figurine well this is kind of similar uh i think this is from an anime my friend is into called knights of syndonia uh oh, look at this beautiful thing look how creepy and cool that is uh, i've not actually watched knights of syndonia i know it's on netflix which is never a anime that's appealed to me but my friend Ryan's really into this so I'm sure if he sees this he'll probably like it uh, it's a really nice figure she's kind of like mutated or something I'm not sure so I'm very curious to watch the anime there are some other accessories for her in the box oh and you get the um, instructions as well which is very helpful wow okay <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna put this together now because there's quite a few bits Christ it's like a bloody Tokyo Ghoul figure uh, yeah, there's um, quite a lot of tendrils and things that go on her. So that's like it's kind of like something from freaking Dead Man Wonderland. It's like all the blood spirals coming out from her back, um, and you get basic hexagonal stand just to stand on, and some more tendrils and the base stand. So that is a flipping gorgeous figurine. So yes, that is definitely going to go in the cabinet. Um, yeah. I'm not saying that. <laughs> that is gorgeous. I did see this on the Biento box site uh, last month, so I thought they were going to be in last month's box, but then um, they never were. So they must have been keeping them aside just for the print next one site because of the One Piece figure's popularity. I guess that kind of took over things. But no, that's really nice. The face is really nicely detailed. Um, it's transfers, but I'm not complaining. Transfers or painted eyes, they're really, really good. And the detail on the fingers is really good because occasionally you just get them like that and they look really crap <laughs> but no they're, they're separate and the nails are really nice uh, they've got really nice detail on the armor and I just look at the lacing on her neck it's just really really nicely painted so I am not complaining with that this is a very very good box this month as it always is so thank you Bento um, right, uh, just a quick um, update unfortunately guys this will be my last Bento review for a couple of months um, I've had a recent life update uh, me and my fiance will be moving soon and to get a new flat so unfortunately for the next couple of months uh, I'm gonna have to kind of be a bit restrictive and save some money um, as I'm gonna have to kind of reduce my collection down a little bit um, so yeah I'm gonna have to stop the Bento to help the move process um, but uh, hopefully by Christmas um, I'll probably get the service again because I don't want to stop getting this because I love all these figures I love the material I love the snacks I love the gashapon so I'm not giving up the service guys who do not worry um, once I'm all settled in September hopefully by um, the end of it um, I'll probably gonna start doing some manga reviews um, help with a little bit of cosplay if anyone needs to because um, I might be um, redoing my Liara from Mass Effect again so I'm going to be rebuilding the armor and probably do some makeup tutorials as well because I really need to get back into that uh, so anyway yeah that's my big update I'm afraid guys um, so I won't have a Bento review for about a couple of well, about two about three or four months so I do apologize but I will be around on YouTube and just visit me on Facebook Rachel Sellens just visit me I have a cosplay page um, Rachel Sellens Kali cosplay and I also have my illustration page which is called Sushi Peeps uh, it's my old business card name um, but I just stuck with the title anyway 
Um, so give them a visit, just have a like, just have a look, I don't mind. Um, so I'm going to have to say sayonara, unfortunately, peeps. Until the next Biento Box review, sayonara and stay happy. And if I see you at MCM October in London, I will see you there. So, bye-bye.